Don't forget to come and pick hey up guys, your... Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amber and I love all things beauty, fashion, and makeup. And if you're not new, welcome back. Today's video, I am going to be giving you my first impression on the new Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. This is what she looks like on the inside. She's beautiful. She's everything I want in a palette. Yeah, and she retails for $69. I picked mine up during the Sephora B.I.B. sale. Um, and it says it is a smoky cool tone palette, palette of wearable and versatile shades. Including a black eye gloss and sparkly blacks and silver with finishes that ranges from, mattes, from matte nudes to multi-chrome foils. Y'all, this palette, spoiler alert. I love it. But if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. All right, we are starting with one eye done. I'm going to show you how I got this eye on. I have already applied some concealer on my eyes, so let's just go straight in. I'm taking this Morphe brush, it's the Y16, and I'm going to go into the shade gray right here. And I'm going to wash that all over my lids. So it's been a minute. Technically it hasn't for me because I filmed at least four videos in the time that I wasn't on YouTube and which is the reason why I wasn't on YouTube because those four videos I filmed, I hate it. I'm already hating this video. <laughs> but I am going to push myself to edit it and upload it. I feel like my background is dark. My eye look didn't turn out how I wanted it to because I haven't put on makeup so I feel like I can't do it anymore. Like my eyeshadow looks were, I got the Mario palette, the All Mats palette and I tried doing three videos with that. Hated every single look. So I got into, I'm not going to say a depression because it's in hindsight it's not that serious but I was sad these are very powdery I was very 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 sad I feel like I was failing and at that point I was just like I'm not finna film anymore so I did tell myself that I was quitting so there's that. I definitely was about to give up. But I really do enjoy making videos. I'm having I have fun when I do it. It's just when things don't turn out how I want them to and I'm a perfectionist, things go less for me. So I'm gonna take the shade Fearless. Now this is a BH cosmetic brush. I don't know. I'm going to take that and put that more so in my lower crease. But I got, I'm in a better headspace. So I was like, let's just try. I bought so much makeup. And not even just for the Sephora sale. been a very interesting month and a half or so. I haven't really been wearing makeup. When I do, it's just my base makeup. No eyeshadow, no nothing. But this palette, okay, let me show you. Very beautiful. And there are a couple looks I want to do, but I need to order stuff for those looks. Like, there's a Danessa Marks. I don't know what they're called, 
but I feel like it would eat with this palette. This is probably going to be my favorite palette of the year. Because when I see this, there's so many looks I could do with it. But I can also add in other things, like I like to do. Like I like adding in single shadows. This, where'd it go? My Victoria Beckham um, pot thing, it stays on my desk because I love pulling in shadows and stuff like that. I feel like this palette is going to be great for that. There's another look I'm planning on doing, but I have to order the stuff that I want. And that's probably going to be my go-to look. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to build this up one more time. That is so sexy. I only went with the cool toned eye because the look that I'm planning on doing, I need to do that look when I have everything that I need. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Renegade, which is the black, in a smaller brush. Is this the brush that I use? Yeah. And I am gently going to take that and I'm gonna start by dabbing it because it is very pigmented. Ah, I just dipped into the cream. Didn't mean to do that. I feel like you guys aren't get, getting what I need you to get because it's so dark and I have three lights on me. So how is it dark? I don't, I'm not a tech savvy, like when it comes to computers and cameras, I just like hit record. I luckily ta taught myself how to use my computer to see, like to use it as a monitor. But I'm not tech savvy, so I don't know like the settings that I need to go in. But it's I'm stressed because this is a clean brush. I'm just going to blend everything together. And I'm gonna go back in that first brush and then that first color brave. And I think I want to invest in another lens. Like, I want a better camera lens. I have a Canon 90D. So, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Okay, so for the lid, what did I do? I went in with Hap Haphazard, which is the shade right here. And I do all of... my shimmers with my finger so like that's cute that's that's sexy right we're gonna add which I'm mad I added this shimmer on top and not the shimmer that I was gonna go for because I really want to use that shimmer in my other look but then I went into Strong AF, the marble shade, and I just tapped it on top. And rightfully so, it's still very pretty. And then I went in with Maverick and just topped that too. Because I love glittery eyelids. And that's all that I did. That is all that I did. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Killer Liner in Killer Espresso.
Alright, I'm going to go off camera. I have another video to film. I actually have like three video three more videos to film today. So as y'all can see, I'm on a row. I need to stay on this row. But I'm going to go do that and I'll be back with my completed base and we'll finish off the eyes. Okay, I'm back with majority of my makeup done. I still have lips, lashes, all that kind of stuff. But I want to finish off the eyes. So I do have on the Keller liner, of course. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take... Where did my brush go? How do I lose these things so soon? I'm just going to take this pencil brush I got from Morphe and go into the shade brave right here and just smoke it I don't really do anything for my bottom lash line because I feel like it it doesn't turn out how I want to and I don't want to mess up my eyes so I'm just going to smoke that a little bit and then going into that small black uh, brush that I use with the black, I'm taking the tiniest bit. Alright, then I'm going to follow that up and take a clean brush. Go back into the shade Fearless. I'm going to take that and just oh no oh no okay. carefully now I look like a raccoon but you know what? I'm still gonna post this video I'm still gonna do it why not okay so for the inner corner I'm just going to take Maverick on my pinky. That's nice. I like that. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to go do my liner, lashes, and lips. And I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my makeup is fully done. I think the eyes came out really cute. Um, very dramatic. But I like it. I think this palette is going to be my favorite palette of the year so far. I want to play. I want to pair this with so many other palettes. And that's what I like in a palette. If I can sit and create looks with not only just this palette, but I'm somebody who definitely, when I'm not filming a first first like a review video I will sit here with four different palettes if I feel like I can get a cute look out of it honey I'm gonna get that look whether it's with this and 12 others but I the only thing that I feel about this palette is very powdery I guess like I had a lot of fallout not on my face but on here but again I didn't have any fallout on my face and that's all that matters to me so overall I'm and the fact that I, in my head, I'm creating looks already, I'm excited about this. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.